Your life is amazing all the time, but only if you pay attention. Because sometimes the only person who's going to remind you of that is yourself. Move, damn you! What's your name and your age? Uh, David Brothers, I'm 28 years old. And what is your current height and weight? Uh, I am 5'11 and change, and I am I was 171 this morning. Okay, and what is your physical background? I've been active ever since I was a kid. Uh, I played soccer for a couple years. We did basketball in middle school. Uh, I played basketball in high school. Then I graduated high school and stopped doing basically everything. And then I moved to San Francisco and started biking to work. How often do you work out? I bike five days a week. Um, I try to do supplementary stuff like uh, weightlifting or running uh, at least four days a week. Uh, what is your favorite exercise and why? Cycling. Just because, like, it's a lot of work to uh, ride a bike in San Francisco. Like, just getting to the top of the hill and having that moment where you look down and, like, easy going. It's very fun. So, what is your least favorite exercise, but why do you still do it? Uh, lunges. I've never been good at them. Like, I use my legs a lot. But still, just the act of doing a lunge tires me out like nothing else. <laughs> uh, what is the physical feat you're most proud of? I live in a pretty flat area that's surrounded on all sides by hills, so I've got to go up a hill every single day. And for a long time, when I first started biking, like I couldn't make that uh, in one shot. But I can just make it like from my back door all the way to work without stopping. It was a big deal for me the first time I realized that. Have you ever had a serious injury or a physical <laughs> setback? <laughs> that you've had to work around or adapt to. In February, I was biking to work. There's basically, you go up a hill, then down, and then there's a bump, and then down again. Uh, I went to brake for a red light, and my back wheel hit a patch of water and locked while I was braking. So I went down with my bike in traffic with my left leg trapped under the bike, and I managed to tear my MCL and my meniscus, mm. and that I hurt it as bad as you can without requiring surgery. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it'll be 100% again. I can still feel it when I bend my legs, especially when biking, uh, not so much when running. It's a range of motion thing. Uh, so the last time I came to visit LA, my friend Larry, you, mm -hmm. as I was leaving uh, to the airport, was like, hey, you gained a little weight, huh? <laughs> and I was like, oh man, people can notice. If you hurt your knee and you have to limp around town and you're too depressed to do anything but like eat cookie dough and watch movies on Netflix, you gain weight sometimes. Yeah, I decided to get back on the bike because I'd been, you know, cheating on that out of this ridiculous fear I had in my head of, get, of falling again or getting hit by a car. And I decided to do more than that because I knew that I'd lost ground. So I started running. It's good to stay focused and have like a reason to get up in the morning. All right, what's the most important part of your diet? Portion control. So I weigh myself uh, in the mornings when I wake up. Uh, when I get home from work and before bed, just so that I know I can look at my weight and think about what I ate and how that's affected my body over the course of a day and adjust for the next, you know, tomorrow, the day after. I went from 184, I'm 171 now, hmm. and I think I'm going to go for uh, maybe 165 is like my ideal weight. What's the biggest mistake that beginners make when they're just starting out? Uh, for me personally, expecting perfection. I have really high expectations for myself. Like, it's something that I struggle with. And, like, I, when I started running, like, I got my first time, and I was like, man, that's really bad. And that's dumb, because who am I competing against? Like, what is a rush? So, like, the best thing to do is, is to recognize that you're going to screw up and recognize that you're not going to hit the, like, whatever your goal is your first time out of the gate and just be patient. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the best advice you've ever gotten or something you think everyone should know? Turning physical activity into a game hmm. uh, helps a lot. I use Nike Plus when I run, which basically it's like a little app on my iPod. And you can set it for like various distances and times and things. But the game part comes in because uh, Nike Plus is tied to a website that just charts all of your data. It wraps it all up in this really neat package. It gives you a score, which I don't pay attention to as much. But being able to see it, like beating my high score each time I run uh, is a much more realistic kind of competition than just me competing against some idealized perfect version of me that runs a three minute mile. Mm. So it's all about if you can track your performance, make sure you pay attention to how well you do mm. in addition to just the fact that you're doing something. I can see the improvement and being able to see that gives me the strength and the faith to keep going. Why do you love it? Why do you keep going? 
like I have uh, this blood condition, beta thalassemia, and like the sickle cell anemia trait. And, like apparently those two together affects the iron in your blood a certain way, so that it doesn't absorb iron and oxygen as well as it should, so I get tired very easily. But beyond that, like I've always been in solid physical condition, and I feel like wasting that gift would be a crime. I have this body for a reason, and you know whatever reason that is, like it's my responsibility to take care of my body and to keep myself healthy. I just really appreciate being able to be who I am, and I would like to kind of maintain this balance of mine. Woo!